With your questions prepared and your confidence at an all-time high, you are ready. Game on. On the day of the interview, you want to be sure you start off by making a great first impression. Remember, you never get a second chance at the first impression. So here are a few quick tips to getting off to a great start. Come on time. Don't come too late and don't come too early. 10 to 15 minutes early is recommended. Express gratitude. Even though you likely said thank you when you set up the meeting, it's important to say it again during the meeting. Engage in small talk. You could ask how their day is going so far or share how much you enjoy the part of town they work in. Something natural to help break the ice. Highlight mutual connections. Remind them who helped you connect to them or how you found them. When possible, always try to find a mutual connection. It increases the trust factor. Set the agenda. This lets your contact know what to expect in the meeting. You could say, thanks again for your time. I just have a few questions about your career path, your company, and this industry. This shows you are prepared, considerate of your contact's time, and unafraid to lead a meeting. Remember, stay engaged, focused, and genuinely interested in what your contact has to say. Questions about them might include, I saw on your LinkedIn profile that you got an MBA. Why did you decide to do graduate work in business rather than in engineering? You worked for Boeing before coming to Chevron. How would you compare the two companies? What aspects of the company culture would you say are important to know about before accepting a job offer? Asking for advice and insights could include questions such as, I see that you have earned a number of additional engineering certifications. Have those been useful to you in your career? Is that something you recommend I should plan on doing? What do you know now that you wish you'd known when you were in my position? If you were me, what would you be doing right now to maximize your chances of getting a job in this field? Finally, in order to continue to learn to build your network, you should take the opportunity to ask your contact if there are others they would be willing to put you in contact with. Questions might include, you said you weren't very familiar with the company's internship program. Is there someone else I can speak with to learn more about that? You used to work for Boeing. Are there any former colleagues there you would be willing to put me in touch with? Do you know someone else with an engineering background who could give me additional perspective on the field? Remember, as you conduct your informational interview, be sure to stick to the agreed upon length of time for the conversation. In addition to being prepared and asking insightful questions, being considerate of your contact's time is an important way to create a good impression and reassure them you'll be respectful of any advice, help, or referrals they provide. Move on to the next section to learn more about following up with your networking contacts.